Hello students, my name is Alok Simwal and in today's lecture, I am going to discuss about mode of action of antimalarials and structure activity relationship of 4 amino quinolines and 8 amino quinolines. So first is mode of action of 4 amino quinolines. Important antimalarial drugs belonging to the category are quinine, quinidine, chloroquine and mefloquine. These drug candidates have almost similar mode of action. After malarial infection, the parasite digests the host cell hemoglobin to obtain essential amino acids. This process breaks the hemoglobin into heme and globin, which results in release of large amounts of heme which itself is toxic to the parasite. To protect himself, the parasite ordinarily polymerizes the heme to non-toxic hemozoin form which is hidden away in the parasite's food vacuole. Chloroquine and other 4 aminoquinoline derivatives prevents the polymerization of heme to non-toxic form hemozoin which results in the accumulation of heme. Accumulation of heme results in the lysis of both the parasite and the infected red blood cells. Next one is mode of action of 8 aminoquinolines such as primaquine. In various studies, almost 14 metabolites of primaquine have been detected and accessed for their biological activity. Primaquine's mechanism of action is not well understood. Various evidences suggest that one or more highly reactive metabolites of primaquine causes extensive oxidative damage that interferes mitochondrial electron transport in parasites. Critical function of mitochondrial electron transport in blood stage plasmodium falciferum is to support pyrimidine biosynthesis. It is believed that primaquine disrupts the parasite's mitochondria which results in disruption of several processes including maturation of the parasite in the subsequent forms. An advantage of destroying the exoarthrocytic forms of the parasite is that it cannot mature and thus remains unable to infect other arthrocytes. Note here that primaquine is also known to increase the oxidative stress on human red blood cells, an effect that contributes to its various hemolytic side effects. Next is mode of action of polycyclines such as quinacrine. The exact mechanism of antiparasitic action is unknown. However, it is suggested by various studies that quinacrine binds to deoxyribonucleic acid DNA in vitro by intercalation between adjacent base pairs. This binding results in inhibition of transcription and translation to ribonucleic acid RNA. Artemisinin family includes drug candidates such as artemisinin, artemether, artisunate, etc. Following drug candidates have presence of endoperoxide bridge within their structure. It has been suggested that endoperoxide bridge interacts with the heme in parasite. Heme iron cleaves the endoperoxide bridge which results in generation of highly reactive free radicals which then links to parasite's membrane by covalently binding to membrane proteins. A resulting free radical intermediate may then kill the parasite by alkylating and poisoning one or more essential malarial proteins. In the following structure of artemisinin, you can see the endoperoxide bridge. Cleavage of this bridge results in generation of free radicals and these radicals damages parasite membrane by covalently binding to membrane proteins. Next is mode of action of fixed combinations. So the first combination is sulfadoxin and pyrimethamine. Combinedly, these are known as folic acid antagonists. 
it is believed that their combination produces synergistic effect in the inhibition of folic acid synthesis. Folic acid is essential for the survival and growth of malaria parasite. Sulfadoxine inhibits the activity of dihydropatroate synthase, whereas pyrimethamine inhibits dihydrofolate reductase, and final result is inhibition of the synthesis of tetrahydrofolic acid. Sulfadoxine and pyrimethamine is indicated for the treatment of Plasmodium falciparum malaria in those patients in whom chloroquine resistance is suspected. Next combination is of atovaquone and proguanyl hydrochloride. Atovaquone selectively inhibits the malarial cytochrome BC1 complex in the parasitic electron transport chain. Cytochrome BC1 complex is a key component of the mitochondrial respiratory chains of the malaria parasite. Inhibition of electron transport chain results in collapsing the mitochondrial membrane potential. Thus, malarial electron transport chain does not contribute significantly to ATP synthesis. Progranyl acts via its metabolite cycloguanyl. Cycloquinyl functions as dihydrofolate reductase inhibitor, slowing parasitic deoxythymidylate synthesis, which finally results in inhibition of DNA synthesis. Next topic is chemistry and structure activity relationship of quinolins. Antimalarials such as 4 amino and 8 amino quinolines contains quinoline as a basic skeleton. Quinoline is a heterocyclic aromatic organic compound with the chemical formula C9H7N. It is a bicyclic ring system containing one benzene ring fused with a pyridine ring system. The bark of the cinchona tree containing the alkaloid quinine was the first effective treatment for malaria which was used in the 17th century. Quinine remained the anti-malaria drug of choice until the 1940s when other advanced drugs took over. The active principle quinine was first isolated from the bark during the early 19th century. Due to the increasing demand of cinchona supplies and the desire to find its alternates with potent action and lesser side effects led to a massive surge of novel anti-malarials. Chloroquine was one of the first drugs which was successfully developed and used in mid-90s. The main advantage of this new candidate was its effectiveness against arthrocytic forms of the plasmodium parasite. Other drug candidates belonging to this category are amidoquine, hydroxychloroquine and mefloquine. Now as we know that chloroquine is consists of 4 aminoquinoline pharmacophore. Numbering starts from the nitrogen atom and there is an amino chain at 4th position. After the design of chloroquine, various derivatives or structural analogs have been designed so far. These analogs contain same essential pharmacophore but are better in drug potency characteristics. In new drug candidates, the side chain present at the fourth position of chloroquine have been modified to increase drug likeness score. Drug likeness may be defined as a complex balance of various molecular properties and structural features which determine whether particular molecule is similar to the known drugs. In some newly designed molecules, an attempt has been made to replace the chlorine atom of chloroquine with fluorine atom which resulted in increase in drug likeness score than the prototype molecule chloroquine. Next is structure activity relationship of 8 amino quinolines. Drugs in this category contains amino group at position 8 of the quinoline ring system. These drugs also contain methoxy group at 6th position. 
Major drug candidates in this category includes Pemaquine, Premaquine, and Tafnoquine. Pemaquine and Premaquine are closely related analogs. Pemaquine is a result of introduction of a bulky amino side chain in place of amine group of quinoline ring system. Pemaquine contains tertiary amino group and when it is converted into primary amino group, the compound is called Premaquine. Premaquine is less toxic and well tolerated as compared to Pemaquine. It is the most commonly used isn't. Although methoxy group at 6th position is not essential, when it is replaced with ethoxy group, it resulted in less active and toxic compound. When methoxy group was replaced with methyl group, compound became inactive. In an another attempt, when pyridine ring is converted to piperidine, which is saturated form, the compound became inactive. This attempt suggests that the quinoline ring is essential for anti-malarial activity. Following are the references of this lecture. Thank you.